Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with Novak Djokovic getting his 1,000th win on the tour only a couple of days ago in Rome, it's a perfect time to go through who actually has the most wins on the ATP and WTA all time, and where does he fit on the list of all time wins in their career in the ATP or the WTA in the Open Era. So coming in at number 10 is Steffi Graf. She had 900 career wins, which included 22 Grand Slam victories and of course a gold medal at the Olympics. So a nice round number there for Steffi at 900 wins. Her career actually spanned from 1982 to 1999. So a good 17 years there to get those wins. Coming in at number nine is Ilya Nastasi with 908 wins in the Open Era. He only had two Grand Slams in the Open Era during that time as well. He has a lot more wins over the whole of tennis because he actually was around in the 60s before the Open Era was created. But in Open Era wins, he comes in at number nine. Coming in number eight is Guillermo Vilas, who comes in at 951 wins. He won four Grand Slam titles during that time, mainly through the 70s, where he accrued most of his wins. Actually, he played until 1992, so had a very long career from the 60s all the way to the 90s. So he got a lot of wins over that span. Coming in number seven is Novak Djokovic at 1,001 wins. Of course, just accrued 1,000 wins at the Rome Open last week. And by winning Rome, he ticked over the 1,000 mark. And he's got an asterisk next to his name because, of course, he is still active. So that number could rise and will rise, of course, over the next three to five years or however long he keeps playing. So coming in number six is Rafa Nadal with 1,051 wins. And, of course, has an asterisk next to his name as well. But just to keep it in context between Djokovic and Nadal, 50 wins the difference at the moment. That's about a season worth of wins. So if Djokovic does play an extra season longer than Nadal does, in their career, then Djokovic could take over Rafa in these rankings. Coming in number five is Ivan Lendl on 1,068 wins, and his ranking is in danger. He's already been passed by one of the current players, which we'll talk about in a second, but Nadal, Djokovic, if they play for the next two, three years, they're probably going to take Lendl's record at number five. Coming in number four all time is Roger Federer with 1,251 wins. You see there, 200 wins more than Rafa. So Rafa's going to have to play for a lot longer than Roger does if Roger does retire in the next few years and Rafa continues to play after. Coming in at number three is Jimmy Connors. 1,274 wins, and that is actually the most out of the ATP or the men's tour. Only a few ahead of Federer. And like I said, about 50 wins per season. So you've got about 23 wins ahead there is Connors over Federer. So if Federer does play for another season. Let's say he plays next season. He should amass at least 23 wins and take Jimmy Connor's record off him. All right, getting to the top two now, we've got number two, Chris Evert. She's got 1,309 wins, a massive total, obviously overtaking Jimmy Connor's in most wins all time. And that, of course, comes with 18 Grand Slam titles as well. So she had an absolutely great career. And you can see they amassed more wins than most of the ghosts that we talk about on the men's side. And coming in at number one is one of Chris Evert's biggest rivals, Martina Navratilova, with 1,442 wins. That is a massive total when you compare it to someone like a Federer or even Nadal or Djokovic. And the craziest part of that is that she actually played Chris Evert for the most part of her career. So if one of those players wasn't around, who knows how big the total would have been. So there you have it, the top 10 of most wins in the Open Era of all time. And are you surprised by the list? Are you surprised where the GOATs are? You know, Federer, Djokovic, Nadal, they're sort of in the middle of the pack if you go all time. And it's probably very doubtful that any of them are going to take over Martina's record. I mean, Martina played for a long time and played very well for a long time. She was absolutely killing everybody when she played, except for Chris Evert, who's also at the top. But let me know down in the comments below who are you most shocked about maybe not being in this list or where the players are actually put in this list. 